Hey YouTube, it's Sean again, back with another taste test. Of course, it's gonna be mostly from the Philippines because this month I'm tripping on Philippines. I love it. I'm gonna keep eating it every day. I'm gonna keep taste testing it. I just love everything about the Philippines. So, here's my first taste test. I'm gonna try these. What are these? These are uh, probably like food chips. It's called mixed fruit cup, but they're fruit chips. And of course, today in California is another hot day. Ooh, I mean, it's hot. Once again, I can't turn the fan up really high because it's gonna interfere with filming. So I have it in the living room. Thank God I have it, but I can't turn it up high. So as a result, I have to suffer. Well, I'll suffer gladly so I can take. Ooh, these bags are. I don't know what they use to tie these bags up, but they are tight. Whoa. Oh, I thought these were going to be individually wrapped. They're not. Look at that. Just, I would have tore the bag differently. Look at that. Okay, let's try this. These are banana chips, I guess. Ooh, those are good. Super sweet. Wow. Look at this one purple. You know, one thing I noticed about anything purple. When it comes to the Philippines, it tastes darn good. Mm hmm That's good, but crunchy. Be careful, don't break, break your teeth. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay. I don't know what that purple thing is. I assume it's ubi potato or uba. I don't know what this is. I almost dropped it. <laughs> Let's try this one. Okay. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's papaya. I don't know. We just have too much of a taste. It's sweet. It's mildly sweet, whatever it is. And like I said, I assume it might be, oh, maybe a sweet potato. Maybe a sweet potato or jackfruit. I don't know. tell the difference of what's in there. Here's another one. That one's pretty good. I don't know what it is, but it's delicious. Okay, let's try another one. I really should set these to the side. Okay, I'm going to look at this. Prawn chips. Now, let me tell you about the history of me and prawn chips. I tried them once before. And let's just say I didn't really like it. So I'm gonna give it another shot. This is a new, this is another brand. This one's by Oishi. Spicy flavored prawn crackers. We'll see. Because uh, the smell of the other one. Ooh. It's about not. Jeez, oh. what is it? Oh. <laughs> that smell knock you out. Ooh. My dog liked the, the, the prawn crackers last time. These taste pretty good. Not delicious, but they taste pretty good. <laughs> I'm looking at my dog. She's hoping I give her one, but you're not getting one. Sorry. <laughs> she tore it up last time. I'll let her have one. And she tore that stuff up. Okay. Now. Now we're talking. These are corn chips by Skippy. Oh no, Chippy. And of course, the company Jack and Jill. They must have a market on the snack. Jack and Jill barbecue corn chips. Jeez. Whatever they use to, to line this stuff up and keep it tight, it's deep. I mean, you can hardly open these things. They're, they're that, still that good. Hmm. These are. Okay, they have more of a um, mild barbecue flavor. I'm starting to notice when they say they're barbecue flavor, anything, the flavor is pretty mild. Not so much 
Barbecue is more sweet to me, but this barbecue is not bad. It's good. I'd buy it again, but just know it's mildly barbecue. It's good though. Okay, look at this. Oh, I'll, I'll try all the crunchy stuff first. Look at this. This is called corn pops, and they're made with wasabi. The brand is Far Morning. Wasabi corn pops. The only thing I can assume is this is similar to Pirate's Booty. If you've ever had Pirate's Booty, you'll know what I'm talking about. And they sell Pirate's Booty, I think, at most grocery stores. Let's see. These things are so hard to open up. Okay, I got this one open up. Let's see. Look at these. Look at that. Okay. Hmm. Not that bad. Not bad. Now, you're going to tell me wasabi is in, in here? I want it to be strong of wasabi. And this wasabi is almost undetectable. I mean, it tastes really good, has a really good flavor, but wasabi, no ma'am, this is not wasabi. Now, if, ironically, this has more of a barbecue flavor than wasabi. So maybe you should call these barbecue chips, not wasabi. But they taste like barbecue chips in the wasabi box. So I don't know. Somebody might want to tell the company that. So check this out. I have some dessert again. And uh, look at this. It's called Suman Salihiha. And it's some kind of sticky rice. And it comes with, check it out, a dipping sauce. Look at that. Oh my God. What do I find these things? I'll tell you. I don't know, but I'm glad I do. <laughs> I kind of like find them at the, uh, the checkout. Oh wow, look at this. Ooh, I better get on. Um, Napkin. Ooh, I need something underneath this. I don't think I don't want this to drip on me. <laughs> Look at this. It's uh Oh, that is weird. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Look. Okay. Let's see. And uh I should have had this open in advance. I didn't know it was gonna be so difficult. Here's the sauce that comes with it. So anyway, here it is right here. It's nice and moist. Let's see. Okay, let's go for it. Let's do it. Okay, that's odd. <laughs> no flavor whatsoever. Literally. Tastes like nothing. Tastes like wax. Okay, let's hope there's something in the middle, right? And it is. Nope. Absolutely zero flavor. Literally, it tastes like um, wax. Yeah. So let's try it with the dipping sauce. Mmm. Now there you go. There you go. So you told me not to use too much of this. It's uh, too sweet. The, it needs it. So the sticky rice dessert. Mmm. 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 Mm. It's so delicious with this dipping sauce. Now, this is called again, Suman Sauce Lihia, and delicious, delicious, but not, <laughs> but not by itself. I almost choked. <laughs> delicious, just not by itself. Okay. I'll put this one back. And I have a fruit, fruit platter this is um honey mango no honey um honey tangerine this is um some type of mango i forgot the name of it but this is a, a different kind of mango this one's from from mexico and this one's from the u.s yeah this one's from the united states and uh i cut the mango up in little slices and i bought these some more of these um lychee because the last time when I bought them, they didn't, uh, they weren't ripe. And some of them were rotten. I bought some more of these to go with it. And I also took back out the dipping sauce, the crack sauce, the ass burner. I'm gonna try the fruit by itself. 
And here's the uh, honey tangerine. Not bad. This one's from the USA. Excuse me. This one's from the United States. Mmm. So good with that. That aspirin and dipping sauce by a crack company, a crack sauce company. Let's try this honey mango. I think it's honey mango. Mmm. <laughs> this one's from Mexico. Mm -mm -mm. I'll put that back. That wasn't too bad. Mmm. Let's try this lychee again. Now, last time when I tried it, it just was uh, spoiled. It's lychee. And so I was like, no way that it's supposed to look like that. It had a brownish tint to it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this again. I got them at the uh, Island Market. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Oh. Oh. Man, those are good. I really like that. This lychee, who knew? Well, like I said before, I've had lychee when I was a kid. Growing up, we used to always go to uh, San Pedro. And when we would go down to the beach and they would sell fruits and things like a farmer's market back in the day. And they would always have lychee and all different kind of exotic fruits. So I've been eating these things since I was a little, a little kid. So it's just that when we moved, I didn't see a lot of these uh, things that I grew with at the local store. So I kind of forgot about them. But now I get to taste them again because the stores are stocking these things because people want to see them and eat them. Mm. Yeah. Delicious. Oh, I look at this. Last but not least, what I bought? I have one more to try, but I bought a mackerel to taste. But I'm not sure if I want to unleash all this funk because I know they're going to be funky. So I'll hold this to the side for a second because I have something I really want you to see. Look what I found. And I have to double bag this bad boy. <laughs> You know why? Because it stinks. It stinks so bad. Look at that. Peeled shrimp and they're salted. Salted peeled shrimp. These are funky. And when I say funky, oh my God. But I want to try it because sometimes the funkiest thing tastes the best. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh my God. And it has the nerve to come with hot sauce. What is it called? Tapatio hot sauce. So come on, taste this with me. You know you want to taste, right? Don't you want to taste? Oh Lord, these things are funky. But oh well, I'm going for it because you know what? I can only die twice. <laughs> die once, excuse me. You can only die once, so, and I'm only gonna try it once. That's it, once, uno. But at least I can say I tried it, right? So, like to see me do it? Here it goes, okay. I just put some um, hot sauce on the the paper and I'm going for it. Look at my dog and she's like, oh my gosh. She's like, oh, that smells so fun. She likes funky things. Anyways, here you go, look. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just put a few of my mouth. This is like, if you're gonna go for it, just do it. Do it. Uh-uh, no. Disrespect, but come on. Oh my god, that oh, that is oh, that's not good. No disrespect to the people that like it, but these things are funky, they taste funky, and they have the nerve to be chewy. I thought they were gonna be crunchy, you know. I could deal with some salty, crunchy, funky, but this is come on, no. And next, oh, I have to get some orange to get that taste out of my mouth. Oh, that's gross. So, I saved the best for last. 
But I found some more sweets. Is that second? It's called Hopa Hopia Dice or Hopia Dice. Another form of bean cake. Okay, let's check it out. I love me some bean cake. I have been obsessed with this. This is be my third time trying a form of a bean cake. And I don't know what they make it with, but I like it. I love it. And I'm addicted. So let's see. Here's another one. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. It's square. It's so cute. I would definitely have these at a party. If I, if I, if I ever had a party. Oh, and more paste is inside this one. Oh, mm, 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 mm. I don't know what it is about this stuff. It makes me do this. Oh, so good. Mm. I'm telling you, if you ate this on a regular basis, you'd be, you'd gain a lot of weight. This, oh, so rich, but it's so good. So I'll end this on the bean cake. Once again, I'm in love. The food was just delish. These are the best snacks that I've had this week before I say goodbye I'll finish this bite I'll take another chip these chippy chips I'll take another whiff Ooh, of these uh, prime chips on my bite see if I like it did I really like it yep I did these Oishi spicy corn chips. Delicious. So, I'm going to say goodbye to you until we meet again on my next video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it if you sub subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out. Uh, leave me some comments below. Give me some advice. What do you want me to taste next? I'm game. I'm down. Let me know what you want me to taste. I don't care. I'll get it. Until the next time, bye.